Punk disclaimer, yay! Nothing you see in our videos is financial advice. We make videos simply for educational purposes. We mainly cover projects we like and are invested in ourselves for more organic content. Sometimes we make paid content to support the channel. At the beginning of a video, any paid content will be marked includes paid promotion on the top left. Remember, do your own research. You should never invest in any project, token or shares just because an influencer covers it. Remember, most influencers are dumb. What's going on football fans? Today we are taking a look at Club. The new light paper, the Meta founding pass sale is closed. It's over. If you haven't heard of Club or you haven't seen our previous video, make sure you go do that now. Hit the like button for us. So let's jump straight in. So Club is a free-to-play, play-to-earn game which is based on in real life football stats and results okay so it's going to be a fantasy football game based on the top five leagues but it's like no other play to earn free to play football game you have ever seen before so their light paper is out now and it is thick there is lots of juicy information in this light paper and i'm just going to skim straight through it and pick out some of my favorite bits so we previously mentioned in the last video how the ui is going to work going to have real life formations real life players is going to be different rarity badges and also in-game items stadiums and loads of stuff like that so we're going to have real players we're going to have intuitive scoring real formations so all of the scoring is going to make sense so if your player is in his position and does really well he's going to get good points he doesn't necessarily have to score a hat trick or score the match winning goal to get a good amount of points. It's going to have the five major European leagues, as mentioned, the player driven market, which makes complete sense in a game like this. So every club will start with the same budget and it's completely up to you, whoever you buy and sell. There's loads of mini games, you're gonna have youth development. So this is where it gets juicy. So free to play, our philosophy is that reality-based sport games should be free to play and that skills, not money, should be the biggest factor in deciding who wins. We want this to be something easily accessible to millions of players. Obviously, all games need to make some money to keep the lights on, but we have made a deliberate choice to do that with our impact in the competitive side of the game. A model many successful games follow, e.g. Fortnite. Play to earn. We believe that gaming is changing. In most games, the profits are taken from the players and given to the developers, but players of the game are providing value through their time, energy, and skill, so why shouldn't they share the rewards too? Players are getting tired of being forced to pump money into sports games season after season just to stay competitive. In short, we believe that without players, a game is nothing, that's why Club will harness the power of blockchain technology to make sure players share in the rewards of the game. Later on, it's going to tell us as well about the in-game currency. So the in-game currency is one thing that's really got me excited. Here we go. Free to play. This is what you get. So a small number of NFTs plus the CC to claim can be dropped to free to play club owners. So we need CC to stake, to earn more CC, to earn the required amount of CC to then start earning the next token, which we'll go over in a minute once you activate your club, essentially. So these are the qualifying clubs. So once you've got enough CC staked, then you become a qualifying club. So you will need to have a minted club and to stake some club tokens to become a qualifying club for play to earn rewards. So earn, craft, mint, top tier NFTs to keep or sell, social status of high rank, prize pool for active stakers. So essentially you can grind free to play to become a qualifying club to start getting the play to earn rewards. Now I'm not entirely sure how long that's going to take, but I guarantee you if you start early, then you're going to have a massive advantage on people that start picking it up the following season. So extra competition, 
club champions league at the end of a season the top champions from the elite divisions may win an nft ticket that permits them entry to the club champions league the following season the club may reserve some wildcard entries for the more for the most famous successful fantasy football players to allow the top champions to compete and play alongside the best of the best the club champions league will surely award some of the coolest prizes in the game whilst creating a small and very watchable league that can be followed by fans of the game on social media. The ticket may be traded on the marketplace if the holder wishes, but can only be used by a club that has reached elite status. Very cool. Competitions and mini games. Club will feature special events and competitions with prizes funded from the community reward pool. That could range from mini game Lambo race between club owners, record the fastest time in a week long competition and win cool prizes, or it may be a special World Cup version of club where we play with international players to add some spice to the biggest tournaments. World Cup this year. Let's fucking go. So the current traction, right? So they got the in-game development. And if you watched the video before, you know it's being built by a play-to-earn game developer that has already made a massive game in the space. Backend systems built, NFT marketplace. So the NFT marketplace is going to be fundamental for how the play-to-earn game mechanics work because you're going to earn the in-game currency you have to play to earn that currency to be able to mint NFTs and then you can sell them on the NFT market to new players to fund the play to earn aspects of the game. It even mentions that they're toying with the idea of allowing Ethereum transactions for easier adoptions and also potentially using the in-game currency to pay the Ethereum gas fees, which is amazing. So 150k social following at present. 17k pre-registers, 2.5k Discord users, and growing. World's number one fantasy football publication, 2.5 million audience from organic founding club owners and notable content creators. So there's some of their big followers there. This stuff is all growing as well. It's really early. May is next month. That's when the beta launches. So I know that the beta is going to be a very minimalistic version of the game and we're not going to be able to earn any of the tokens or the play to earn aspects of it but it's going to be real fun and it's going to be our chance as a community to start feeding back information as well and let these guys know exactly how we feel and how we feel things could be improved or let them know how well it's going as well the team we've had meetings with the team they're really great guys we see them in discord a lot as well really friendly really know their stuff about the football space really starting to know their stuff around the NFT space and the play to earn space as well. I'm fairly confident in the team to pull this game off. So here we go. Qualifying clubs. Once a user has minted their club and staked some CC token, they become eligible for the coolest item rewards in game. Instead of just putting all the cool items in a shop and selling them to players like traditional games, club allows its players to earn those items and sell them themselves. By playing the game, they will start to earn club secondary currency, an off-chain reward called club points, or CP, the higher the player's performance and the higher their rewards will be. These CPs will allow the user to mint and sell in-game items like kits, badges, and even stadiums. I have to say as well, the kits in this game that I've seen so far are fire. And I noticed as well, it says that there will be a 2% market fee on that item that goes back to the artist of the kits as well. So I'm not sure if they're doing any sort of community rewards based around community people that design kits, but I imagine further down the line they will be if they're not already doing that, because that will be massive as well to really sort of like praise the creatives in the community, because the NFT space is full of so many creative people. How to mint a club. Meta clubs come minted already, but most players will start with a free-to-play club, not on the blockchain. Through gameplay, they can level up their club, 
and earn the right to mint, at which point it becomes tradable. This is an achievable objective for the majority of players, but does take some time. This helps to ensure that minted clubs have value, as creating one is not a trivial task. If a player wanted to skip this leveling process, they could buy a minted club off the market. Goes back to the first episode when we were talking about fantasy football games where you play all season and all you've really got is sort of the competitiveness between your mates. Maybe you've all put a tenner in or something like that and there's a small pot. Or playing football manager where you grind out all of these seasons and at the end of it, all you've got for all of your time spent is sort of that immersive experience. Whereas now you can spend all of that time, have fun, get all of the other stuff that was mentioned, but also you can mint your club and potentially sell it for some money as well as well as picking up the in-game currency and minting NFTs and selling them along the way. So this is really exciting and I think has a lot of potential. So going over items then, you've got common, rare, epic, legendary and unique. And we've got badges, kits and stadiums. You've got cars, watches, we've got mascots. Look what I was saying about these kits as well. You can't really see these ones. They're not too close up, but everything looks really clean and really unique. So they're going to have a lot of season-based items as well, which are going to be extremely scarce. It's really cool how the minting process works as well. I believe every time the NFT gets minted, the price will go up. And every time you mint an NFT, you will have a cooldown as well. So it's to stop people from exploiting that whole process so club sets as well, this is really interesting. So if you complete a club set and stake that, you will earn higher club coin rewards, which will allow you to qualify your club faster, which will allow you to earn CP faster, which will allow you to mint NFTs faster, which will allow you to actually make some real world money faster. Very interesting concept, really like it. The marketplace as well. I think that they're going to have not only the marketplace for players, but obviously there's going to be a marketplace for all of the NFTs that people have minted as well. Look, you can see the shirts a bit closer here. As mentioned as well in the previous video, there is a lot of potential for real world sponsors in this game. And I think once they start to bring those in and people start to see the value of this game, I think it's really going to have a massive boom and onboard a lot of people. We all know mass adoptions coming. It's a bit of a bear market at the moment, but you can see how many people are searching for web free related projects, NFT projects, crypto projects, play to earn projects. It's not going away. So we can see here as well, Clubcoin will be the primary currency for all marketplace transactions, though we will explore options of allowing people to also use ETH for convenience with CC still involved in the background. A 5% market fee will be taken from sales, 50% of that will go to the development team, and 50% will go back to player rewards pools. And then here you see it says 2% royalty of sales will go to the original artist to reward them for the original creation of their item, which is amazing. I really like that, and I'm here to support that as well. So game economics, our main goal is to provide a great football game that shares rewards fairly with our players. The full revenue from the game does not need to go to us. It will be a better experience for everyone if the players can earn rewards for their skill and active participation in the community. Platform choices. We are in discussions with different providers about our base layer. We want to use a solution that allows players to trade freely without worrying about high fees or network traffic. It is also important to us that any solution meets our eco-friendly values and minimizes carbon emissions. There is a lot of thought in this light paper. You can tell that these guys are taking everything into consideration, which I have a lot of time for. And I think if you're bringing a project like this to the table, it has real potential to be downloaded by millions of people. Think of how many football fans are out there. How many people play all the Premier League? fantasy football games how many people play fifa how many people play football manager they really need to be very careful and tick every box and i am very confident this team is doing it so a bit more about club coin here as well cc is needed to mint all nfts including your club and any in-game items 
the cost of minting a particular NFT will increase with each one minted, giving users an exciting early season gameplay chase to be the first to mint the coolest items. Whilst dynamically regulating the supply of NFTs, each user has a cooldown timer on minting a particular NFT to ensure a small number of users cannot monopolize supply of certain NFTs. Active staking of CC is required to become a qualified club and the off-chain currency required to mint NFTs. The more you stake, the faster you can earn, but this is capped. Players cannot keep paying. CC is needed to buy assets in primary sales as well as a fee in secondary sales on Club Marketplace, possibly via frictionless transactions allowing use of ETH. Interesting. CC may be required to form and run cooperative player groups called crews in order to enter special tournaments. Imagine that. Co-op, baby. That would be lit. Imagine doubles if they did doubles. Awesome. I, I, I honestly can't wait. So earning and minting NFTs. Well aware this episode has gone on for longer than I've intended to, so I'm just going to plow through this now. Once a player has a qualifying club, they can start earning an in-game currency called CP. CP are very important as they are required to mint any earnable NFT in-game. CP are off-chain, untradable currency that can only be earned through gameplay. CP ensure that only those who really play the game have the right to mint NFTs directly, giving real players the opportunity to get the best items first based on merit rather than allowing whales to just buy them off the market. It is also more efficient to have many of these routine daily transactions take place off-chain through CP. Mining an in-game item requires both CC and CP. The flow of earning and minting selling an item works like this. So that's amazing. An off-chain token that you can only earn by staking CP, having a qualifying club, and playing the game. That completely removes, or looks like it completely removes, any whales aping into the game, and also any exploitation. Once you start earning CP, you can mint NFTs, and then it's completely up to you if you use them, if you stake them to earn more CC, or if you sell them on the secondary market, which is completely revolutionary. It's little things like this that really fills me with confidence about Club, and I can see it going the full distance. There is more to go over. I'm just going to quickly flick over the roadmap, guys. So Q1, which is where we're at now, and I'm pretty sure they've ticked all of that off. The beta is going to go live next month. They are still on track for that. And then later on in July, they're going to have the public beta. The marketplace is going to go live. Onboard wider football community. Free mints for founding owner clubs. Cosmetics. Reveal club ambassadors. Come on. Come on. Onboard and reward initial club content creators. What are you saying? Come on. Launch partnerships with co-projects. Private meta funding clubs dropped. World Cup game start development of clubhouse in metaverse. Public meta funding clubs dropped. Completion of founding club supply. Deepen partnerships and with co-projects and utility for club owners. Public club token live. So they are going to do a club token at one point as well. So I imagine there's going to be an IDO and I'm sure that club owners will be able to get in the private sale before that goes public. So guys, that was definitely longer than I was expecting to make a video. I am very excited about this project. Hood is very excited about it. Everyone in the sort of space that loves football is very excited about this project. And I think once that beta goes live next month, I think the mass adoption is going to start. I know that they said sort of onboarding wider football community around Q3, but I think it's going to start sooner than that. As always, guys, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Let us know down below in the comments what you think. As always, like and subscribe. We'll see you for the next one. Invest smart.